Hello everyone! I hope you're ready for another adventure! Because today, Wayne reads Thomas and Friends Down at the Docks. Always remember that as you go through these amazing stories, all you have to do is press the CC button in your YouTube link if you want to follow along with the words. Now I think that Madam Owl will be perfect to join us for today's adventure. Now that Madam Owl is here, Let's jump in. Thomas and friends, down at the docks. Peep. Everyone sure looks busy today, thought Thomas. He was still on the hill overlooking the Brenham docks. From above the busy harbor, Thomas could look down and see all the other engines working hard. Maybe I can do something to help. When Thomas arrived at the docks, the other engines were bustling around. Everyone was working hard to prepare for the ocean life exhibit, which was coming to the island of Sodor. James and Cranky the Crane were busy unloading a big shipment of ocean plants. The plants would be put in fish tanks to make the fish feel at home. Can I help? asked Thomas. Oh, little Thomas, an engine like me doesn't need help, said James. Thomas chugged over to where Harvey was moving a bunch of small crates. Keep back, little Thomas. These crates are full of all the empty fish tanks and they are very fragile, said Harvey. We don't need you breaking anything. As Thomas moved off, he noticed two cars coupled to Salty on the next track. He had never seen cars like this before. They were large and Thomas could see through the sides. They were full of water. A big octopus was swimming in the rear car. Thomas was amazed. Then he pulled up to the front car. It had a huge shark in it. The shark looked at Thomas and opened its mouth. He had rows of big scary teeth. Look at that, Thomas gasped, and hurried up to find Salty. Amazing, aren't they? These critters from the deep. Hey, Thomas, said Salty. Where are they from, Salty? Thomas asked excitedly. Where are they going? They're off to an ocean show in Tidmouth. It sure is fun having them here, don't you think? Answered Salty with a smile. I can't wait to tell Percy about them, thought Thomas. Maybe we can see them in Tidmouth. Thomas was still marveling over the shark when Henry rushed by. Out of the way, I'm in a hurry, Henry whistled. Don't fret, Thomas, said Salty. Little engines can be mighty hands at times. Thanks, Salty, peeped Thomas sadly. Maybe there's something I can do back at the station. Just as Thomas was leaving the docks, Percy came chugging up, working hard, pulling an afternoon mail. Percy, you've got to take a look at the cars that Salty is, Thomas shouted. Not now, Percy interrupted. I need to deliver this mail right on time and he hurried past. Percy passed Salty and then looked up and saw a huge shark looking right at him. Yikes, he tooted loudly and rushed forward. Percy was so surprised and so scared that he didn't look where he was going. Henry had stopped ahead of him on the same track and he was waiting for Harmy to cross with his fragile load. Percy ran right into Henry, pushing him up the track right towards Henry's cargo of fish tanks. Watch out, Harvey, tooted Henry. Harvey looked back and saw Henry rushing at him and went full steam ahead. Too late. Crash. They crashed into Harvey's freight car. Harvey's freight car tipped off the track and the coupling snapped. Harvey, still at full steam, rushed forward. He ran into James. James was pushed off the track, which startled Cranky. Cranky let go of the crate he was carrying and the crate fell right into James and burst open, covering him with seaweed. Thomas saw what happened and came hurriedly back to help. His smaller size made it easy for him to fit between the bumped engines and broken crates. First, he helped pull Percy back on track. Then, he kept the freight cars in order while spilled mail and all the broken crates were creamed up. Finally, he helped Harvey put James back onto the track and he didn't even tease James about his green face. Later, when everything was in order again, he went to look at the shark whose car was still sitting on the siding. Salty pulled up beside him. Well, Thomas, I knew you'd find a way to prove what a really useful engine you are, he said. Thomas smiled and looked back at the shark who gave him a big wink. Oh wow, that was a lot of fun with Thomas the Tank Engine down at the docks. What did you think, Madam Owl? I like that part too. We'll see you in the next adventure, okay? And we'll see you in the next adventure, here with Wayne Reads. Thank you for joining us and we can't wait to see you again. Bye bye